do this. Hello there. Before we start, I just want to make sure I mention that this has already been reported as a bug. Uh, the devs are aware of this interaction and will be addressing it probably in the next patch. Uh, but this is all fair game until that happens, and I'll update the title of, the, of this video once it does. Uh, I don't usually want to make build videos about things that are confirmed to be getting changed, but this one was just too good not to share, so enjoy it while it lasts, and without further ado, let's get into it. Today I'm going to show you one of the most broken interactions in the game. Uh, if you clicked on this video, you've probably already seen Mr. Nacho's Monorail Masterclass with Spoon, and in it they rightfully call Monorail a high-risk, high-skill weapon. Well, we're just going to take a massive dump all over the identity and skill floor of this weapon and turn it from a high-risk, high-skill, burst-oriented weapon into a no-risk, no-skill, high-burst and sustained DPS machine. Uh, the secret ingredient is this innocent-looking ring, the sealed resin loop. Uh, if you've seen my previous video on it, then you'll know that this thing has a lot more going on than you'd think. And this time we're going to use it to completely break monorail. Uh, like I mentioned back then, Sealed Resin Loop lets you dodge to cancel out of mods that lock you into that little backstep animation, so Concussive Shot and Big Bang. Uh, well, firing monorail does the exact same thing to your character, and Sealed Resin Loop has the exact same effect here. Uh, it lets you evade while in the recoil animation, which cancels it. So if I take off Sealed Resin Loop, I go to shoot. I need to wait for the recoil animation to be over. But if I throw on Sealed Resin Loop, and I'll just go to light to make this even more exaggerated. You can evade right after you shoot, and that lets you shoot again, even faster. So this completely changes how you need to play with monorail. So now instead of needing to find a window to shoot without getting hit, uh, not only do you need to find time to charge it, but you need to find time to charge it and shoot and then go through the recoil animation without getting hit. But with Sealed Resin Loop, you can just dodge at any time. So you can just take every shot with no risk at all, which is going to, by itself, be a massive damage increase. This is what I meant by like zero skill, zero risk. Because with Sealed Resin Loop, Monorail is basically just a really, really big bow. Uh, the rest of your build honestly doesn't matter. Uh, I've just gone for maximum comfort with the rarely seen gunfire security lanyard, which is going to greatly reduce the need to fire monorail. Uh, if you aren't fully abusing the dodge cancel and increased rate of fire from sealed resin loop, gunfire security lanyard will basically give you a bottomless mag. Uh, another option is the bypass perimeter ring, which is going to give you an instant reload every time you do a perfect dodge, which is naturally going to happen a lot because the charge time is so long that an attack is going to be coming at you 
by the time you shoot. Uh, beyond that, we've got Archer's Crest for the charge time. Between Archer's Crest, Supercharger, and Monorail's mod, we're hitting minus 80% charge time. Uh, Leaking Gemstone is going to let us loop Monorail's mod as long as we land four shots, which is just trivial now that Sealed Resin Loop is giving us so much safety to take every shot uh, we have the opportunity to take. Uh, the final ring slot is where you would take Bypass Perimeter if that's your thing, but I've just got Akari Warband for some more consistent crits. There are two main options for your archetypes. We're always going to take Hunter's Prime with Hunter Prime with Hunter's Focus, since it gives us the most damage on the big weak spot hits you're looking for, and it's also always going to activate while you're charging up Monorail. Uh, your secondary can either be Gunslinger with Bullet Storm or Invader with Wormhole, depending on how much you want to commit to seeing the big funny numbers. Uh, Gunslinger is more consistent, and generally what I prefer just for the extra crit consistency from Bullet Storm, because that does apply to Monorail. Uh, and you can even trade out Akari Warband for, for Probability Cord on this setup. With Invader, obviously we're going to be using Wormhole to get the big funny numbers. And you are you may whiff a couple crits, and that's always sad, but it is worth it for the dopamine rush. Uh, for the traits, there's nothing special going on here. Uh, regardless of whether you take Gunslinger or Invader, I would just take both of their prime perks. I mean, archetype traits. Although, like, really you can do without both of these in certain cases, so if you're just going to go speed kill bosses, you don't need ammo reserves, and if you don't care for the extra iframes, then this is completely optional. Uh, the thing you're going to want to take is Chakra, just because extending the mod makes it so you can shoot more shots without blowing yourself up. Uh, the rest of your traits honestly do not matter really at all. Uh, we don't need Spirit because we're going to loop Monorail's mod in four shots, regardless of spirit. Uh, I've just got expertise because it's more wormholes if you go with wormhole. And then I've also got gifted to extend the duration of bullet storm on the gunslinger variant, and it also gives you more time to line up your shot on the invader one. Uh, the only main difference between the two is that flash caster isn't really necessary on the invader setup. Uh, meaning you've got even more free points to play with. Uh, I've just gone, I've even gone with Fortify and just a bunch of comfort traits because it really doesn't matter. The damage, like, Monorail's damage is just going to carry you, and it making it so easy to use and safe to use effectively increases its DPS because you get to act, you get to shoot more shots. Uh, finally, the Fragments and the Prism, you don't need any charge time on here, you just go on straight crit and weak spot damage. And then the Prism is just my Hugs Prism, but really just you need the extra crit and weak spot damage, you don't need any of the rest of this. Like, your, your damage will be lower without Sharpshooter, but this puts out so much damage that it doesn't really matter. You, sh you will still be able to kill bosses just fine. Uh, so, overall, you saw some of the fights. Uh, this is one of the most busted interactions in the game. It completely eliminates most of Monorail's weird high-risk, high-reward identity, and it's confirmed to be getting looked at. But until then, it is fair game, so go out there, do some disgusting stuff, try it out, and enjoy.